Happy Tuesday. Road day in New Jersey. But um, yesterday, tank move completed. All done. Uh, so I feel so much better. I, I don't talk about work too often, but I know I griped about that for a couple days. So I want to at least acknowledge that we did do it. Um, someone reached out and they were like, well, how big was it? 265 gallons. Uh, it was a saltwater reef tank. Uh, so we had a ton of corals, rock, fish. We even moved the water. Um, the tank itself took seven of us to lift up and put it down on a dolly, dolly on out to a moving truck. It had everything else in it. Then we drove it over to the new location. This was office to office. And um, then of course dolly that into the new office and it took seven of us again to, to lift that thing up and put it on the stand. Got all of our fingers though, all of them. The name of my company is Clean a Tank and uh, we specialize in cleaning fish tanks. It's not move a tank. <laughs> not a big fan of moving fish tanks. Um, I'll, I'll provide links, brentevans.net. And um, speaking of work though, I, I do get some weird emails because of clean a tank. Um, sometimes it's septic tanks. Uh, I think I read one email about pig feed earlier. Well, I got these two recently. Um, this one's about cattle ranching. What? Hello, Brent. I am reaching out to you because your organization is listed with a specialty of cattle ranching. If you use molasses for animal feed, then my company is a direct supplier for you. It goes on and on and wants to know if I would be the decision maker <laughs> with purchasing power from Clean a Tank. Would that be yourself? <laughs> Calling up my business partner. We need some molasses. Molasses. Mm -mm. That'd be good, good feed. This dude then sent me something yesterday. David Holloway. Um, and apparently they got it. I'm invited to a meeting uh, tomorrow at uh, 1 p.m. Central. I can zoom in if I want. Can't wait. But um, this guy was telling me the Fed, the Fed cattle market was steady slash soft this week. Weekly slaughter levels remain stubbornly below potential. I still believe they are mostly adequate, but the more that move now just increases the upside potential for the fall market and vice versa. This is so poorly written. <laughs> I shouldn't pick on it. I, I don't have a newsletter. I I should have a newsletter and I'll send it to David. Be like, hey David, sign up. No. Oh. <laughs> Morning Babble, sponsored by Cattle Feed. Sorry, I shouldn't be doing that type of stuff, but I'm just amused at the emails I do get. Um, I did not do my 50, 50, 50s. I, I didn't do the push-ups. No sit-ups, no squats, no pull-ups either, as my body is still feeling the fish tank move. Tomorrow, I will be back at that. I did run, though. I ran. 208 days of running, 5K run every day. My new blue cards arrived today, so I will have a new blue card that I can flash and just pound home that, yes, it's not just a mile, it's a 5K run every day. I cold showered last night. I did. And my daughter scribbled in both boxes. So uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five more days of cold showers and I cannot wait to begin a shower with hot water. Oh, that, <laughs> I'm telling you, the standing in the corner and just being like, man, really? And then I set that timer and then I jump on in and <clears throat> So yeah, the 31 days of July cold showers. Every day, cold water, beginning to end, minimum five minutes. That's all I got. I gotta get on the road. Oh man, it fell. It's okay, it's right, right there. Quote of the day, a person becomes happy to the same extent which he or she gives happiness to other people. Jeremy Bentham. English philosopher. I'm going to put it right here. I don't feel like stretching. <laughs>
hoping I'm making all you happy. I'm happy. So th this is a fun thing for me. I am enjoying the now. Uh, make it a good day. Tomorrow is Wednesday. And of course, make good choices. See you then.